Now we're moving into rigging. When you start to rig the figure, always start with the pelvis first. This is where the main weight of the body is. You can see that I've started at the top there, and to do this you use click and alt and drag. That will create a new bone. So start with the pelvis, do the upper leg, and then lower leg and foot. After that, if you click again, you can scale the bone up. Now when you animate, you want the bones to be as big as possible. If they're too slim and small, it's going to be very difficult to animate later. I'm just tweaking the pelvis area a bit here. Adding a bone for his midsection, his back, and his head. Now if you want to be really good at rigging in general, I would recommend to look at a skeleton. Uh, image so you can check exactly where the bones are underneath the skin. I mean this is good practice anyway when you move into 3D eventually. Now I'm moving the head into position, just scaling those. Rigging is largely about tweaking so as you go you can move the bones around. Now I'm going to create one of the arm bones now. You need to make sure you click the rib cage bone first and then alt click to make the top bone of the arm, alt click for the second bone and then the last one and scale up. I'm just checking the rig here as I go just to see how it works and see if it's bending correctly. Now I'm doing the back arm, again the same process, click the rib cage bone, alt click down to the elbow, then to the wrist, then make a bone for the hand also. To make the additional leg again, make sure you click the pelvis bone first, then alt click, make the top bone for the upper leg, stop in the middle of the knee there, and then do the lower one. And then additional bones for the foot and the toes. Now I'm just refining the rig a bit more. So I'm moving the bones around just to check how they are, putting them into place. Now what I'm doing is I'm attaching the bone to the PNG, the part of the body. To do this, you just select the bone itself and press B on your keyboard, then select the body part PNG and it links the bone to the PNG. Now you just need to go around the whole body and do this for every section. It's a good idea to have a pause sometimes, check the rig, See if the bone is connected, sometimes you might miss it, and then go through the whole thing. Here I'm adjusting the arms a bit just to make sure they're in the right position. Again, just twisting it around just to see that the uh, rig is working okay. Moving the back arm into position there and just tweaking the, the overall alignment with the PNGs. I'm also moving the PNGs themselves just to align them correctly. So the good thing about Sprite is you can do both of those at the same time. You can also lock your Sprite so if you don't want to actually move them by accident at the top of the border there you can see lock sprites which enables you to do that. You can also hide them or hide the bones as well. So I'm just doing some final adjustments here and almost ready to go.
Okay, that's it for this section. Next we'll move into animation.